The Lewis structure of iron 2 fluoride, or FeF2, has a metal, iron, bonding to a nonmetal, fluorine, which means it's an ionic compound. Ionic compounds are when one thing, the metal, gives its electrons away to the nonmetal and gets a positive charge, giving the nonmetal a negative charge. Now, iron, being a metal, can have a charge of either positive 2 or positive 3. Here it is, positive 2. Fluorine wants a charge of minus 1. What you're going to do is draw yourself an iron atom with the same number of electrons as the charge it's going to end up with. One, two electrons. Now I'm going to draw myself some fluorines. Fluorines, being in group 17, bring seven electrons each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, iron, the metal, is going to give its electrons away to complete the octet of fluorine atoms. This one electron goes to the fluorine, which currently has seven, now has eight. That completes the octet on fluorine. We're going to need another or second fluorine to absorb the second electron. This is why the formula for iron 2 fluoride is FeF2. You need two fluorines to absorb the electrons that the iron is giving away. The final structure here will have Fe along with its positive two charge, since it has given away its two electrons. It will also have two fluorines shown. Each of those fluorines should have eight electrons around it because, well, we've completed the octet on each of them. And that's one more electron than it brought each. So I'm gonna draw a minus one charge on them as well. Each of the charged particles in a ionic Lewis structure gets square brackets, so you can show that the minus one charge resides on this particle here, and the positive two is on this particle there. And here's your completed Lewis structure for iron two fluoride. Some teachers will allow you to take the shortcut, write two times that F, but I like to show that there's an F on either side. It kind of implies that the crystal structure has alternating positive and negative ions. When you do two times this, it's like, where are you going to put the iron? Well, you just have to put it somewhere near the fluorines, but I like alternating them and drawing them pedantically like that. Anyways, here is your completed Lewis structure. Here is the transition of electrons to form it. Best of luck.